Hello guys, welcome to this channel once again. Hello, I am Dr. Mukund Kilkarni and in today's session we are going to talk about logo. For every business, logo is very important and they want to reflect their logo everywhere in their business. Whether it might be website, a product leaflet, a service information, visiting cards, business card, whatever it may be. They are using their logo everywhere because logo is a brand identity of any business. As a web designer or as a web developer, we need to understand the importance of logo and we need to also understand how to design and create effective and impactful logos. So in this session, we are going to understand logos in business in three different levels. Please watch this video till the end and try to understand how logo is very important and what are different things that we need to understand as a web developer or as a web designer. So without wasting any time, let us dive into mind map and let us try to understand logo designing and importance of logo in a business. So here you can see uh, I have divided this session in three parts. At first level, we will try to understand concept of logo and its importance. Once we understand this, we need to understand what are the three important factors that one need to remember while creating a logo. And last one, we are going to talk about different tools. Those are available in market. And here I'm going to cover only the top three tools. Those are very widely used right now in 2024. Now, let us go back and see what is concept and importance. Now, to understand the concept of logo, we need to understand the logo is reflecting your entire business in a small image or you can say it's a visual representation of your business and therefore logo is very important for every business. It is as like as business identification, business name given with a small and impactful way. So here to understand its importance, number one is it's a brand identity. Your logo is a brand identity of your business because uh, it is unique for your business that you have created. Second one, it, it, uh, it gives you at a glance a representation of your business through your logo. You can say that it's a visual name for your business and it is recognized in the market. So your business will be identified with your logo and this logo will be uh, important for your every service and for your every product and therefore you need to use this logo on your every product and service. Second one is logo is reflecting professionalism and credibility of your business in market. And here you can say if you are using a proper logo that means you are very professional, you are taking care of every part in your business, your logo will re represent how your business is running. So if your logo is impactful, powerful and created properly and it, it is if it is easy uh, to others to understand your business through logo that means you are taking care of every part of your business. So this is one uh, part that businessmen or wise people understand which brand should they choose. Now it shows your credibility in the market. It shows your objectives. Now when you are designing a logo, you are using pro, uh, different kinds of images, colors and fonts and those things will reflect so what are your objectives, what are the goals of your business that you want to achieve or what is vision behind your organization or behind your business and therefore the logo reflects the complete professionalism in your uh, business. The third one is a differentiation. With the help of this logo, you can create a difference in a market. You can uh, say that it's a global identity. So you can stand out from your competitors because everyone is having their logo. Now to come out differently, you can use your logo effectively. And your logo aligns with your vision and mission. When you are entering in a business, you should set a one vision. Why, what vision you are going to work in a market? and what are the missions those you want to accomplish. If you are using a logo that reflects your vision and mission statement, it is always better because with the help of this logo and your slogan, you can come out 
differently in the market and that will create your unique identification in the market so this is the importance why we need to have a logo okay so number one is a brand identity it reflects your professionalism and credibility and number three you can show your difference in a market now if you are new in a business and if you are designing a logo or if you are working as a logo designer then what are the three factors that you need to understand this is the second one that we are going to discuss now here if you see the first one is simplicity when you are designing a logo the logo should be very simple and easy to understand it should not create any ambiguity so if it is easy it will be easy to recognize if it is simple it will be easy to remember also if you want to create a traffic to your websites if you want to attract more people then you need that people should remember your logo in their mind in their brain and therefore you have to keep it very easy and simple so that people can remember and recognize that this is your logo and it should not create any ambiguity do not use any complex things inside a logo otherwise it may create ambiguity and it will be very difficult to understand also if it is very complex and too much information is added in a logo then it becomes very gauzy and people cannot recognize what is your exact vision in your business so what already we have discussed in first part that it should reflect your vision and mission if your logo is not simple that means your vision is also not clear if you want to create a proper impact in a world then your logo must be very easy simple and clean that is the first thing that you need to remember the second one is relevance now whatever logo you are designing it should be relevant to your business otherwise what happens your business is something different and your logo shows something different and therefore there must be proper relevance between your logo and your business so this relevance you can create by using different techniques number one the logo image you are choosing must be suitable for your business it must match with your vision and mission statement and then you need to use suitable colors suitable fonts and suitable images so that your logo will be more relevant to your business now third important factor that you need to understand is versatility your logo must be versatile it must be adaptable it at various mediums and context it should not create any problem with respect to the religion and communityism or the geological area so it must be adaptable acceptable everywhere uh, it must be a unique brand for um, so that there should not be any legal part you have to register your logo properly you need to take a trademark and all those things that we will discuss in another video but versatility it should be acceptable it should be legal and it should be designed in a such way that it should be used for all platforms so you can use this logo on your website on your business cards on your products on your service uh, information brochures and you need to take care that everywhere it can create a good feel otherwise if it is good only for a digital medium and for print media or sometimes you need to print your logo on your product also so accordingly you need to uh, use proper colors fonts and images and its a size that matters so these are the three important factors simplicity relevance and versatility now once you aware about the importance and concept and then factors that you need to understand then the next question is which are three popular tools right now used in 2024 for logo designing so let us uh, have some Uh, glance at three important tools the first and most widely used is adobe illustrator now adobe illustrator is a professional vector graphics editor uh, widely used for logo designing now it offers wide range of powerful tools and features uh, now you need to learn these tools separately and especially once you are using these tools you can understand what are different things most of the time designer don't need to use all those facilities available or features available in any tool but uh, to become an expert in uh, using those tools you need to aware about what are different features and facilities available in each tool now designer can manipulate shapes text colors and even some effects um, with precision allowing for endless creative possibilities now these are the things available in adobe illustrator out of which some or more you have to use 
uh, while creating logos. Now, Adobe Illustrator is professionally available tool for creating logos. Not only for logos, but we can use it for all kinds of different graphics designing. The second one is a Canva. It is online tool which is most popular and most widely used nowadays. Now it is very user friendly tool acceptable by even newcomers and those who are non designers. If you don't have good knowledge of designing or if you are very new to this field, then Canva uh, I am suggesting for everyone. It's very good. It offers ready made templates, elements and it gives you drag and drop facilities. So once you're having your account, you can have, you need to ch choose what you want to design. And accordingly, there will be a lot of different templates for logos, even for videos and all those things. Now you need to choose among them. You can use search option. You can uh, find out those images or logos or templates. Those are align aligning with your business. You can choose one of them or you can have a hybrid combination of them by using your own creativity and you can use just draw drag and drop feature which is available and uh, change some colors fonts and you can download your logo now canva is very good tool for newcomers i am always recommending for creating thumbnails i am using it for uh, creating different graphics i am using canva and it is online tool but very easy to for newcomers the third one is a sketch now sketch is also a good uh, editor available it's a mainly used for designing ui and ux so it is ui and ux designers first choice but it can be also used for designing logos now it's a known it is known for its simplicity and versatility you can also use a sketch for newcomers i am recommending canva and canva is the best tool but to get more knowledge and to create more impact in market you can also use adobe illustrator and sketch tools now these are only three tools actually there are a lot of different tools available in the market now here i'm giving top three tools right now used in the market so this is all about logo designing tools impacts important factors and concepts i hope this video uh, has given you a lot of value for logo designing if you are already working as a logo designer or web developer then you need to use these concepts when you are designing a logo three important factors simplicity relevance and versatility you need to remember when you are designing a logo and once you are designing a logo it should be used everywhere because it will be your brand identity now i have designed a special course on logo designing where i am personally teaching you everything about logo how to create a logo how to decide a logo how to create a niche how to uh, find out different images how to fix the color theme for your logo how to create uh, variations in logo because sometimes what happens one organization has a lot of subsidiary forums and organization for everywhere they are using a different logo now in that case you can have one logo which have which is having different flavors and you can use them for such companies once you know all the techniques were very important part that legal part when you are designing a logo you should not copy the logo of someone else you have to create your own logo it should be unique one and it should be acceptable everywhere it should not create any problem in future and you have to follow all legal part along with your logo where to register a logo how to create a trademark and all those things this information i am sharing in my course if you are interested uh, i have shared a link in a description just click on that link join my community where i am giving you lot of inputs for logo designing i am also teaching you very simple techniques where you can immediately create your own logo and use them i hope this inf information is very valuable for you and if you got any value from this video please hit a like button and share this information share this video with your friends so that someone else will also get benefited from this video and put your opinion in a comment box so that it will be helpful for me your feedbacks are always welcome so put your feedback in a comment box if you want to add something in this video you can also put it in a comment box if you have already designed any logo you can give its a link in the comment box or you can use it give its information in the comment box so that i will understand how many different viewers are watching this video and what they are expecting and it will be helpful for me for creating a new courses and it will be also helpful for creating such videos uh, for all of you 
to watch on YouTube. I'm giving all information on, on YouTube videos. You can learn it from videos, but I'm recommending if you are if you want to learn on a fast track mode, then join my community and learn web development, digital marketing, uh, logo designing, lot of different tools and programming techniques I am teaching through my courses. So thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best. Happy learning.